What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade or replace the M.2 SSD in your 2017 iMac. Okay, so before we get started, you're going to need a couple of things. First, you're going to need a toolkit, which I will link in the description. You're also going to need an M.2 drive, which I will link in the description. And you're going to need a pry tool. It is also important to note that this video will be very similar, but not exactly the same as the process for a late 2012 all the way to a 2019 21.5 inch iMac. Okay, so what we're gonna do is make sure that your iMac is leaned back just so there's no risk of the screen falling forward. And we are going to pry around all the edges of the screen. Okay, so after you're finished with your pry tool, we're going to need to lay our iMac down. Okay, so once your computer is laid down, you're gonna need some suction cups. Now these will often come with your toolkit. You'll also probably need some wedges because the screen is gonna want to stick back down. So after you've gone around the edge, unfortunately, sometimes you kinda have to go back through it just to loosen up the rest of the glue and then place these wedges along the way. Okay, so now you're going to want to take your suction cups and place them on the display. So now we just want to lift up the suction cups. Okay. Okay, so now that the screen has popped up, if you raise it up, you're going to see two cables right here. So this one, there's a little tab you can kind of see right here. And you just pull the tab up and the cable, you can kind of wiggle it gently. And it comes out. The cable closest to the top of the iMac may be a little bit more difficult to get out. You're supposed to squeeze the sides of it and then gently pull, but if that doesn't work, you can gently pry on the sides of it. Just go back and forth on each side until the cable comes out. Just be very, very gentle not to bend or break anything. Okay, so now that you have it all, all the way disconnected, we can lift up the display. It's gonna be a little bit difficult at first, you're gonna feel some resistance, but don't worry, it's just adhesive at the bottom. Then you're gonna see a piece of adhesive in the bottom left corner, and you can pull it up and start undoing the adhesive of the screen. If it tears like mine just did, you're just gonna have to pry a little bit more out. There was actually another piece where you could grab the adhesive on the right side of the display that I just missed so that might make it a little bit easier for you. Okay, so to actually take out the hard drive, we just need to take out these four T10 screws, making sure to keep them in order because they are all different lengths. Okay, so once you have the four screws off, you can literally just take these connectors off and you're gonna see the hard drive right here and it's going to be connected to a very tight SATA cable. Don't worry, it's okay, as long as you don't pull on it too hard. You should be able to pop the SATA cable out, especially if you use a little pry tool. And there you go, your hard drive has been removed. All right, so now looking at the bottom of the iMac, we need to take this piece off here. So first we just need to disconnect this connector right here. May just take some gentle prying. Now we just need to unscrew these two T8 screws right here. Okay, so we also need to disconnect this connector right here. Right at the end, it's just a little connector. Okay, now you can take the power supply and careful not to just grab the back side because you might get shocked, but you're just gonna wanna wiggle it out. What up? And you wanna try to disconnect this bottom half from the iMac. So don't be too forceful when you're trying to pull out the power supply, but you are just gonna have to maneuver it until it wants to let go with the bottom. Don't worry, as long as you unplug the connector on the left side, there's nothing that it's still hooked into, except for there is a connector right here. So be careful not to just yank it all the way out. We're just trying to gently disconnect it from the bottom of the iMac, just like that. Okay, so we actually have two cables. We have this one that plugs in right under the iMac, you can see it kind of going up under right there. And then we have this cable, which attaches from the bottom. And you can see it plugs in right there on the motherboard. 
Okay, so to get this first cable out, we're gonna need to push on the clip. There's a release clip. You push on it and you pull the cable at the same time. Okay, so this big power connector is the same way. There is a clip on the back. You're just gonna wanna squeeze it and pull out the connector at the same time. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is remove this fan here. So there's gonna be three T10 screws around the edge and we also need to unplug this connector connecting to the logic board. and then you just pull the fan up and out. All right, so now that that fan is removed, we can remove our hard drive tray with one T8 screw. Now it should just pop up. Once you unscrew the tray, you'll see this cable attached to it here. You just need to pull it this way and then pull it out and now it is detached. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is unplug the speaker cables. So obviously you're looking at the iMac upside down. So this is your right speaker cable and this is your left speaker cable. So we need to just unplug both of these. If you have to use a little pry tool, that's okay. Just make sure to be very gentle when unplugging these, not to really pull on the wires very hard. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is deroute this SATA cable here by simply pulling up on the clip and then pulling the cable out. To prevent us from having to unplug this SATA cable, we're going to undo this piece of tape right here that holds the speaker wire connected to this SATA cable. Now there is this cable right here connected to the FaceTime camera. We just need to unconnect it. There's a little tab you can pull up. If the tab is a little stuck, you might have to get something to help you pull it off. There you go. Okay, so looking at the top right corner of your iMac, it's gonna be the bottom left. If it's flipped upside down, you're gonna to need to unscrew these two screws right here. They are both a T5 screw. Just a heads up, it might take a little bit of force to actually get these screws to unscrew. Uh, so I would recommend maybe sticking something under here to support it so you're not just bending your motherboard. Okay, now that we've unscrewed these screws, we need to unconnect all four of these by simply just prying them up or using tweezers to pull them up. Okay, now towards the bottom of your iMac, we have the headphone jack connector that we're just going to pry up with a pry tool. Okay, so now looking at the exhaust manifold, we need to remove this piece of tape, then take out these four T8 screws. There's one down here, there's one down here in between the motherboard and the exhaust manifold, and then there's one right here. Okay, so at the very bottom of the iMac, you're going to see a very, very small and delicate ribbon cable. Be extremely careful when removing this, but you'll see a little flap and you want to just very, very gently pull this microphone cable out of its socket. Okay, so now that our exhaust manifold is unscrewed, we need to unscrew these four screws on the motherboard, but this one is covered up with a piece of tape, so you just have to remove the piece of tape, and they are all T8 screws. Okay, so now with all the screws removed, it's now time to remove the logic board. You're just going to have to be very careful not to tear the microphone cable down at the bottom. I kind of pushed it up under there and it's kind of out of the way, but you just want to make sure that you do not tear it. So you'll just have to be very watchful of it as you pull your motherboard out. Okay, so just a heads up, this connector right here for your SD card is going to make it an absolute pain in the butt to get this motherboard out. So you're just gonna have to wiggle it and keep trying until you're able to slide it out, but it is kind of a pain, but it will eventually slide out. Okay, so now that you've got your motherboard out, you will see your M.2 SSD right here. To remove it, all you have to do is remove this one T8 screw right here. And once you have removed that, you can pull the SSD up and out, just like that. 
Then to replace it, you would just put your new one right back in. Get your screwdriver and screw it right back in. Okay, so now it is time to reinstall our motherboard. Again, being careful of the microphone cable down here and the speaker cable right here, not to tear them. It is also still going to be difficult to get our SD card reader back under, so you might just have to play around with it for a little bit. Okay, so now that your motherboard is back in, it is time to reconnect everything. Make sure not to screw your motherboard back down because you may still have buried some cables. For instance, this left speaker wire right here under the motherboard. Then we also have this plug up here in the top left corner. Just snap on just like that. We also have your left speaker wire plugs in right here. And now you can go ahead and raise up this uh, clip here. Put your cable back under it, your SATA cable and the speaker wire cable. And if you want to tape it back together, you can do that as well. Now we can reconnect our camera cable. It goes just right here. And then make sure to snap, snap it back down. Okay, now that you are sure that you can at least access all your cables if you haven't plugged them all back up, now we can go ahead and screw in our four motherboard screws here and then finish connecting everything else. Okay, so now I'm going to plug in our microphone cable. It's extremely fragile, so just be careful. Now I'm going to plug in the Bluetooth and airport connections. Now I'll just take the screwdriver and screw it back in. Okay, so now it's time to screw back in our exhaust manifold. So you're just going to screw in the four T8 screws that go around the edges. Okay, so next we are going to reinstall our power supply, which is a bit out of order compared to the way that we removed everything, but I believe it's going to make it easier to get our power supply in without the hard drive and the fan in the way. So I turned the Mac on its side because there is a plug right under here that this plug has to go to. So I'll try to show you that real quick. Alright, you can see that that cable is plugged in, nice and tight, it's not coming out. Okay, and next, if you remember the plug right here, we have to go right under here. It's going to be a little bit difficult to get to, but it should be doable. Okay, so now that we have both of our main connectors plugged in, we want to be careful of this wire for the speaker and this wire right here, and we can just go ahead and slide our power supply back under. Now before you screw anything else down, I'm going to do this a little bit different than the way an iFixit guide or any other videos you're going to find do this. So most people would go ahead and screw down your drive bay and then screw down your power supply and then try to get your new hard drive or SSD in. What I'm going to do is take our SSD or hard drive that we prepared earlier and plug it in first and then put our drive bay down. And then it's okay if your hard drive or SSD just sits off to the side for a minute. Then you're gonna take your T8 screwdriver and screw the one screw in the drive bay right here. Now that your drive bay is secure, you can go ahead and put your hard drive or SSD down in the drive bay. This is way easier than installing the drive bay and then trying to connect your hard drive or SSD simply because of how tight the cable is. So now we can take our hard drive mount covers and go ahead and place them on the hard drive. Please note that the back side of the cover is actually supposed to go on top of the power supply, not under it as shown in this video. All you have to do now is screw them in. If your Mac is upside down, it's going to be your right side is where these two screw holes are going to be the two screws that are even. They are 21 millimeters. They should look something like this. These are two T10 screws and you can begin to screw them down. Okay, and on the left side is where you're going to have the really long 27 millimeter screw. And on the bottom left is where you're going to have your really short 8 millimeter screw. 
Okay, we have finally reached the last thing that's going to require any screws on your iMac and that is the fan. Before you replace it, I would highly recommend cleaning it out. An air compressor is a great way to just blow all the dust off, that's what I did. As long as you keep the fan from spinning, uh, just try to clean out the dust because a lot of times these get very dusty. All three of these are T10 screws and the one with the rubber padding goes at the top of the fan. All right, and don't forget to plug in your fan connector. All right, now if you haven't already, now was the time to go ahead and scrape any excess adhesive off of the edge of the case. Okay, so unfortunately I had some technical difficulties with this video. However, I have still not applied the adhesive to my display, unfortunately, but it was quite a pain to be able to get this cable to go back into the motherboard so I will not be unplugging it instead I'm going to be applying my adhesive around the edge of the display while the cable is still plugged in I really apologize for this but it's just what has to be done because I'm honestly not sure after how difficult it was to get this cable back in if it will be possible to pull it out and put it back in we actually had to adjust some of the pins because one of them appeared to be slightly bent but I can go ahead and plug in this cable here. Okay, so the adhesive did not come in in time, so I will be using double-sided tape. Whatever your adhesive solution is, just make sure to apply it to every edge of the display. Okay, so now it's time to lay the screen down on your adhesive or glue. Okay, so I went ahead and booted up my iMac. Congratulations, you have now upgraded your M.2 SSD. So thank you so much for watching this. I apologize about the technical difficulties I had with the screen connection and the adhesive on the display, but I hope that this video still helped you out. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Also, I will link the toolkit that I used along with the SSD that I bought in the description. So thanks so much for watching this. I'll catch you in the next one.